Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Sagittarius. And this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. It's just going to be a little check-in, okay? I'll be using my Guardian Angel Messages Tarot. And to clarify, I'll be using my Angel Wisdoms Tarot deck. And we're going to see what messages we have for you. To everyone stopping by, I welcome you, darlings. I welcome you with open arms and an open heart. Please know that I deliver these messages to you from my heart to your heart always. Please take what resonates and leave what does not, okay, my loves? <coughs> Excuse me. So let's see what message we have for you or messages. So Sagittarius, this is for you. We have the Knight of Water, Romance Incoming. We got the Eight of Air, something got you feeling a little tied up. We got the Eight of Water, you're in search of something or maybe you're thinking about walking away from a situation. We got the Eight of Fire, something coming in pretty fast. We have the Three of Water, messages worth celebrating. We have the page of earth, good news in regards to financial matters. Now in this deck here, we have fire signs, which are the wands. We have water, which are the cups. We have earth, which are the pentacles. And we have air, which are the swords, okay? That's only in this deck here. And we have the page of fire, feeling really motivated and enthusiastic about whatever it is that's coming in for you. We have the king of air. There might be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Or maybe you just need to be communicating clearly and, you know, straightforward about your boundaries, maybe, or whatever it is that you desire. Just be straightforward. Be clear. And then we have the tower. This is the transformation card. Um, this is something that throws you upside down, you know, something that you weren't expecting. It causes chaos and confusion, but just know that it passes. Nothing, just take a glance over your shoulder, okay? Think of all the things that have happened in your life and how many times you've overcome these moments of chaos and confusion, okay? You've overcome them, but I know the moment you're going through it, you don't feel it, you don't see it. All right, but let's see. You're going to overcome. You will overcome everything. We overcome things. We have, the, we have choices. We always have choices, no matter what our situation is. All right. So we got the night of water. On top of the night of water, you're deep in thought about this romance. You feel alone. You feel defensive. And you're focused on it. Things that are moving at very at great speed for you. This card says choose intellectual responses to challenges rather than emotional. Sudden or unexpected change. And then you have the hermit. And the hermit, um, the hermit is Virgo actually. That is Virgo. The hermit is Virgo. I'm learning to recognize the signs, you know, um, the symbols. So we have, and you might be feeling alone. You're deep in thought in regards to whatever the situation is. You got the four cups, you have the knight of swords, and you have the hermit, which is a Virgo energy. And then you have the eight of air, self-doubt, confusion. You got free will. You feel like you got yourself in a situation that you can't get yourself out of. You can. Trust me, you can. You got the king of air. Well, the King of Swords, you have the Nine of Swords, and you have the Seven of Pentacles. This is the same energy as down here. 
There's something about this energy that has you in your head. You're feeling very negative and you're worried. You're very worried about something. It could be about finances because we have the Seven of Pentacles here. But the Seven of Pentacles is that you're worrying unnecessarily and you need to get out of your head. And this is past, okay? So it's all gone. You no longer feel like that. You have the King of Swords, you have the Nine of Swords, and you have the Seven of Pentacles in the past energy above the Eight of Air. So whatever that situation is or was, you got yourself out of it. You got the Eight of Water, walking away from something, searching for something. Now there you are, the King of Wands. Let me get um, Tico. All right. Oh, man. Come on, Tico. Come. Let me put you up here. Come on, Tico. Don't run away. Come, Tico. Come. It's not time to eat and take, okay? Not time. You ate late and you weren't feeling too well early. All right. I don't know where your mother went. So. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> But I got to take care of my animals. So anyway, so on top of the eight of water here, we got the king of wands, which is you, Sagittarius. We got the eight of swords, which is you feel like you're kind of tied up in a situation. And you have the eight of swords below here. It was giving you anxiety or maybe you untied yourself because right after that, we got the sun card. And the sun card is about time for great joy and success in your life. You got the King of Wands, you have the Eight of Swords, and you have the Sun. So whatever it was or is, you have overcome. And you got the Eight of Fire. <laughs> Something coming in with a lot of speed. We have the Moon, maybe Revelations. Maybe Revelations. Things are going to be revealed to you. You need to listen to your intuition. We got the Eight of Cups. You want to walk towards your happiness. Might be towards a marriage, happy family, happily ever after, a loving relationship. I don't know if it's the one in the past there with the Virgo, because it seems emo like it ain't really got much emotion, and you're deep in thought about it. So we have the Moon, we have the Eight of Cups, and we have the Ten of Cups, or maybe this is incoming for you. You see, it depends on us, you know, what happens in our lives. We create our realities, we really and truly do, and we start how we start doing that is first healing and then we start seeing things a little clearer you know so the moon the eight of cups and the ten of cups and then you have the three of water news worth celebrating tico go lay down baby news worth celebrating you have that air energy might be a gemini here because we got the lovers we have the two of pentacles which is about balance you have the lovers maybe choices in regards to your heart and we have the four of pentacles. Now, the four of pentacles is saying that you're managing your resources wisely, extremes in how you give or receive money or time or emotion, money, time or emotions, smart business decisions, seeing things in black and white only. <coughs> so whichever way that, that resonates with you. Um, what I feel is that you have, there's either new love or this, this, energy is a Gemini, but you might have to make some choices from the heart in regards to that energy. And for some of you guys, the card says vibrant health or recovery from an illness. Whatever it is, you're going to find balance. You have, it's surrounded by the two of pentacles and the four of pentacles. So we're going to say the four of pentacles is balance. You have found the balance. You made your decisions. You had your choice and you made your choice. You made your decisions. You were able to, and you found balance. The two of pentacles, the lovers, and the four of pentacles. So that is news worthy of celebrating. And then you got the page of earth. On top of the page of earth, you got the ace of swords. You're going to receive some messages here. You're going to receive some clarity or some communication. It's going to bring in, it's going to have some kind of conflict here. And that conflict is going to lead, lead to an ending. But you need to remember when things end in life, right? It always makes room for a new situation or a new, something new to come into your life. Okay, so if something ends, I need you to heal from it. Really and truly heal. Look at all the ins and the outs and the deep downs and everything about it. Process your emotion and your emotions and take care of yourself. Be gentle with you. 
You have the Ace of Swords, you have the Five of Swords, and you have the Release card. This argument or this conflict might bring some type of ending here, okay? I'm not sure. But like I said, endings bring in new beginnings. And it could bring in a whole bunch of choices, and it could bring in a whole bunch of your wishes and dreams coming true and abundance. Like so many things that this ending could bring. We have possibilities here. You know what I mean? We got the Empress, we have the Nine of Cups, and we have the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is about choices. We all have choices. It's up to you to see yours. Because only you can make them, you know. You have the Empress, you have the Nine of Cups. That's your dreams and your wishes coming true. You gotta make a choice though. You got choices, always remember that. Then you have the King of Air. Could be a Gemini, it could be a, a Libra or an Aquarius. Um, I said Gemini early just because of the lovers and the lovers signify um, Gemini. On top of the king of air, you need to use your intuition. Okay? Use your intuition. This is going to be a new um, emotional experience for you. But it's going to be some kind of partnership here. We got the two of cups and then we got the page of pentacles, which is about good news for you. You're going to have good news coming in. Good news coming in. Use your intuition. You got the page of cups. It's going to be some kind of partnership here. You got the two of cups. Page of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. But of course, there's going to be that towel moment. Some chaos and confusion. It might be coming in from a water energy here. Or maybe after this towel moment, maybe you're going to start feeling emotionally balanced. You're going to start feeling happy. And then all that love you've been looking for, it's going to come in. You see, the thing about it is you need to stop looking outside of yourself for the love that you desire and look within you for the love and the happiness. It's all within you. When you find it, you will see that things on the outside will improve drastically. You have the King of Cups. It could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. It could be that you're feeling emotionally balanced. And you have the Four of Wands and you have the Knight of cups there. You're going to be enthusiastic about whatever is coming in for you. Okay? You're going to, you have, you have, um, you have, you're going to be motivated. You're going to have news of this new exciting opportunity for you. And it's going to make you feel magical. Okay, baby? Babies, all the magic resides within you. All of it. Everything you need resides within you. I love you, darlings. You take care of yourselves. And we will chat soon.